In this video, I'm going to share with you the story of Sri Krishna. A full life would not be sufficient to fully understand the glory of Sri Krishna, who is the avatar of Lord Vishnu. He took the avatar in this form that was best suited for that time. Shri Krishna was born at the same time when Pandavas and Kauravas were born. Shri Krishna has a huge role to play in the Mahabharata as we shall see in the upcoming videos. Krishna was the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. King Ugrasen had a son called Kamsa who was the crown prince. Kamsa was very cruel to people in his kingdom. People complained to King Ugrasen who promised that he would talk to Kamsa. But before he could do anything, Ugrasen was put into the prison by his own son. Krishna's parents were Devki and Vasudev. Sages had predicted that Devki's eighth son would kill Kamsa. As soon as Kamsa found out about this prophecy, he imprisoned both Devki and Vasudev. He killed every child that was born to them in the prison. But when Sri Krishna, Devki's eighth child, was born, Kamsa was not able to kill him because he did not realize how and when Krishna was born. Kamsa's sister was Devki, who was Krishna's mother. Thus, Kamsa was Krishna's uncle. Krishna killed many asuras while growing up. We would need a whole video series to describe the glories of Krishna. In short though, he killed the main asura who tried to kill him. He was able to tame the great Kalya Nag and also lifted the Govardhan hill and taught Indra, the king of the Devas, a lesson to protect the native people of Vrindavan from the persecution of Indra. He eventually also kills Kamsa and frees his birth parents Vasudev and Devki and reinstalls his grandfather Ugrasen to the king of Mathura. Balram was Krishna's older brother and was born to Rohini, Vasudev's first wife. There is a story of how Balram was born. Rohini visited Devki and Vasudev during their imprisonment. Devki was pregnant with her third child. Through various mantras, Rohini took over on the pregnancy and gave birth to Balram. Balram and Krishna are incarnations of Nar and Narayana, the Lord in human form. Before the end of this video series, we will learn how Krishna helps Pandavas win the war against Kauravas, victory over Jarasandh, and how he got Bhima's help to win over Jarasan and about Krishna's sister Subhadra who eventually marries Arjuna, one of the Pandavas. Later on in the Mahabharata, Krishna also tells the secret of why and when he takes birth. In chapter 4 verse 7 of Bhagavad Gita which says, Yada yada hidharmasya Nanir Bhavatik Bharata Abhyutthana Madharmasya Tadatmanam Smrujamyaham Paritrana Yasadhunam Vinashaya Chaduskritam Dharmasam Starpanarthaya Sambhamami Yuge Yuge Which means whenever there is a decay of righteousness, O Bharata, and there is exaltation of unrighteousness, then I myself come forth for the protection of the good, for the destruction of the evildoers, for the sake of firmly establishing righteousness, I am born from age to age. These are the words of Sri Krishna in the Mahabharata. 
in the upcoming videos we will find out who are the good people that krishna has come to protect and who are the evil, evil doers that he is going to destroy also in the next video we will find out about what is karna doing this time karna remember was kunti's first son if you would like to be notified about my future videos subscribe to my channel thank you